Hello, you guys. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, and welcome to Joanne's Kitchen. How's everybody doing out there this morning? I hope all is well. To my new subscribers, welcome to Joanne's Kitchen. So glad to have you. And if you're watching this channel for the first time, go ahead and take the time to tap that bell and be sure. I'm sorry. If you, I'm sorry. I said that wrong. If you're watching for the first time, go ahead and take the time to subscribe and be sure to tap that notification bell. So every time I upload a recipe or whatever it is I upload, you want to be notified because you don't want to miss out on none of these good recipes. And then speaking of good recipes, I got a great recipe for y'all today. If y'all love shrimp and y'all like spaghetti, put it together because we're having shrimp spaghetti today my way. So I'm going to show you the ingredients that you're going to need. Okay, of course you're going to need some spaghetti noodles. I have my spaghetti noodles already over here boiling and everything. You got my soda in them, my boiling water, and my olive oil. So they're good to go. Now, to go in the, in the spaghetti um, shrimp, you're going to need um, tomato paste, okay? It doesn't matter because if you need the whole can, um, if you have the can, like the 16 ounce small can or whatever size that is, you can use that, the whole can, okay? I'm going to use two big tablespoons of this right here, the tomato paste in the tube, okay? You're going to need um, a green pepper. You're going to need a red bell pepper. You're going to need one garlic clove. Now, I have three garlic cloves, as you can see. Now, since I love garlic, y'all know I'm always going to use a little bit more. You're going to need some diced tomatoes, yes. You're going to need two cans of diced tomatoes. We want all that juice and everything go right in there. You're going to need some chicken broth, okay? That's going to, we're going to make our sauce with this. And you're going to need a jalapeno pepper. Now, it's up to you how you like your spice, okay? So, when I do this, you can omit some things if you want to, okay? Um, it's a spicy recipe, but I'm not going to do it that spicy because my husband don't like it hot. So, I'm adding the jalapeno pepper, but I'm going to um, take the seeds away from it. Okay, for the seasoning, I'm going to be using chili powder. You're going to need some chili powder. I'm using Cajun season. You're going to need some paprika. I'm using a little bit of cayenne pepper, black pepper. Old Bay seasoning. You're going to need some thyme leaves. I have some parsley, some dried parsley flakes here. You're going to need some of that. You're going to need some basil, okay? And you're going to need some Italian season, okay? This is what we're going to season it with. And you're going to need some olive oil, gray seed oil, canola oil, whatever kind of oil you you got. Because after we take the shrimp, I have the shrimp over here in my... um pot over here i'm gonna get ready to clean them and devein them so after we do that we're gonna dry them off and then we're gonna sprinkle them with olive oil and i'm gonna get them seasoned and we're gonna put them in that pot right there with some butter so i'm gonna start um cleaning my shrimp and then i'm just gonna do just a couple and then we're gonna um and i'm gonna um you're gonna devein it okay because we're taking the seed, we're, we're, um, I mean, you're going to take the tail off, okay? So be sure to take all that yucky stuff off in the middle. And then I just stick it back in here once it's good and clean. And we do, and that's done, okay? So tail off the shrimp, okay? And these were three bags of jumbo, um, frozen shrimp, okay? Now you can use fresh shrimp, a beam, so much better. But I want the Aldi's and they don't have no daily for the fresh shrimp, so I got frozen, okay? So I have some of it fresh, you know, you just use what you got on hand. That's my motto. I didn't have any shrimp on hand. We had them cooked the shrimp already. So I went to Aldi's and got some bag shrimp. So I'm going to um, finish these shrimp, and then I'll be right back, and we're going to go on to the next step of this recipe, okay? So I'll see y'all back in a few. Okay, y'all, welcome back. I have here, in here, I have my shrimp. Um, they done been, um, mm, they done been um, dried and deveined and cleaned. Y'all, y'all, excuse me, because I'm still coughing for the, um, pepper I was chopping up. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit of, um, olive oil. I'm just going to whisk a little bit of here on my, um, shrimp. I'm 
let me get my kosher salt out because I'm going to need a little bit of salt. We got to have some kind of season besides these spices. So, I'm going to start off with a little kosher salt. Okay. <clears throat> the chili powder. Okay, we got a little Old Bay seasoning. Okay, we got some Cajun seasoning. Now, I done cut up the red bell pepper. Remember I told you you're going to need red bell pepper, green bell pepper, and jalapeno pepper? I done cut it up there, and I done diced up three large um, fresh garlic cloves. Okay, I'm going in. I'm going to do that last. Okay, the black pepper. Just a little bit of black pepper. Okay, and I went in with the Cajun seasoning. Um, let me go on with the um, Italian seasoning. Oh, I don't need Italian seasoning on that. That's going to go in the sauce. I'm sorry. Okay, paprika. And, last but not least, the red pepper. Now, I have to um, just get a little bit of this. And I do mean a little bit. Like, this is how much of um, red pepper I am using because my husband can't do heat that's it but if he could do heat y'all I will really sprinkle a little bit on there because you know it's a spicy dish and I like this dish so much so I'm going in with my hands and I'm gonna mix it up but you know you could do it to the heat that you like you know that you comfortable with Okay, then we're going to take some butter. We're not going to do olive oil in, our, in, in this dish. Let me wash my hands. We're going to take some butter. And I got some dish water right here with bleach in it. So wash my hands right quick. <clears throat> we're going to take the olive oil, I mean the um, butter, and we're going to stick it right in that pan right up. Okay, hey. Okay, I'm going to start off with a half a stick. So, along with this dish, if I didn't tell y'all, we're going to have the shrimp spaghetti or the shrimp pasta, however you want to say it. Shrimp pasta, shrimp spaghetti. We're going to have some corn. Now, I wanted to have corn on the cob, but I thought I had some. And when I went to Aldi, they didn't, they, don't sell, they didn't have any corn on the cob, but they don't sell it one. So, I didn't have my corn on the cob. So I use canned corn. And along with the canned corn, the shrimp spaghetti, we're going to do garlic bread. And I just throw together a salad. Now the salad that I, I did is, um, I took three spring bags of, um, salad mix. You know, the spring bag, bags with the, um, let me see what I got in it. I know it got spinach in it. It's the spring mix. It's this it's this right here. Okay. So I'm just gonna take my shrimp. And I'm not gonna fry these in batches. You know, I'm gonna wash my hands again because we're gonna we're gonna sort them out. But anyway, like I was saying, I um what did I do with my I used the, the three bags of the um, spring um, the spring mix, followed by two cucumbers, some cherry tomatoes, and some um, blue blue feta cheese. Put a little olive oil in it. Put a little kosher salt and black pepper. 
and got it sitting in the refrigerator. But not blue for the cheese, blue cr crumble cheese. That's what I meant to say, blue crumble cheese I use. And I add a little bit of salt in it. I throw, I, I um, sprinkle some um, olive oil in it. Then I added the kosher salt. And you can smell that oil, babe. The kosher salt and the um, and the black pepper. Mix it all together. Wrap it up and put it in the refrigerator. You guys, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to let this right here get done. I'm going to cut the camera off so this can get done. And then when this get done, so I don't want the video to be too long, but I do want y'all to see. So when this get done, I'm going to come back and we're going to remove this and then we're going to go on to the next step. Okay? But I won't go to the next step without y'all seeing it, okay? Cause this is a good recipe and I want y'all to try my um shrimp spaghetti okay so I'm gonna let this get done and then I'll be back all right okay y'all we're gonna move on to the next step shrimp is done I'm gonna take them out I'm going to turn my heat down. Okay. I'm going to add in, so I'm going to turn my heat down. I'm going to add in my garlic, okay? So there's the three fresh garlic cloves. Now, what we're doing now is building our sauce, okay? We're getting it right for the sauce. So, I'm going to let that little saute a little couple minutes. Do what it's doing. Then, we're going to add some more ingredients in there. Oh, Lord, it's pouring down. Right there, I just looked up the darn door and it wasn't raining. Now I'm gonna start pouring down. I just love the rainy weather. I love me some rain, but I love it even better when I'm when I'm off.
Okay, now to that, we're going to add in our peppers. Okay. To that, I'm going to add in two big teaspoons of tomato paste. Two nice happens. Now I have it right on medium heat because I had to turn it down to low where I had my garlic in. Okay, we're going to add in our can of tomatoes. Both cans. Okay, we're going to add in some chicken stock. Now, if you don't have chicken stock, you can use water, vegetable stock. Okay, y'all, we're going to need some spinach. But I'm gonna wash this spinach off, okay? And that's gonna go in last. You guys will see, okay? So we're gonna add back in our shrimp. Okay, here's our basil. Our thyme. And our Italian season with my oregano mix. Okay. My parsley. We're gonna take some of this pasta here. We turn it down a little bit. Okay, 
Okay, let me see that for you guys to see what it is I'm doing. And you know what? If you guys want to use a can of marinara sauce, not the spaghetti sauce with the stuff in it, you know. You don't want to use that. Just the marinara sauce, you can. Now this is the marinara sauce.
No spaghetti sauce, just marinara sauce, okay? Then we're going to let this simmer, you guys, and this it. And you want to taste it to make sure it's seasoned. You season it to taste. So I'm going to let this simmer for about 30 minutes. Then give my bell peppers time, you know, to get um, a little on the done side, a little soft. Because right now that's still hard. So we're going to just give the everything because it's done. So we just simmer it for... 25 to 30 minutes just to give the bell peppers time to get a little soften. And you guys, that is the shrimp and spaghetti. So I'll see you guys back here in a few. Hey you guys, I forgot to put the um, spinach in. So I don't wash the spinach off and I just got it sitting down. So if you have a bigger part, you want to go ahead and stir your spinach in. But um, I don't want anything to fall over. So I'm going to let it wilt down and then I'm going to stir it together. So I just want y'all to see the spinach, okay? And then you'll see what it looked like once it's melted down and mixed all together. So I'll see y'all back here in a few. All right, you guys. Welcome back. I am finishing off my dinner. And doesn't that look good, y'all? Shrimp. Spaghetti. Or spaghetti and pasta. Yes. some shrimp in here. So this is what the meal looks like all plated up. So I have my shrimp and my spaghetti with the spinach. That's the other spinach that melt wilted down in there. Corn. I have my salad, my spring salad with my cucumbers, cherry tomatoes and my blue crumble cheese and we have ranch packs on my job so i'll be taking that i'll be um won't take no ranch with me and two pieces of garlic bread so this is my dinner i hope you guys like this recipe give me a big thumbs up and as usual i thank you guys for watching until the next next recipe i will see you guys later shrimp and spaghetti or pasta and spaghetti so you guys thanks for watching until the next recipe i'll see you guys later you guys stay safe take care i love you guys see you later